Hello and welcome. I'm Lucas. And I'm Andreas. We are product managers at Trump and have been responsible for the laser tube cutting machines for several years. In the next minutes, we will show you how to set up your laser tube cutting process chain as efficient as possible. We will show you solutions for smaller shops as well as for fully equipped smart factories. Before we take a closer look at the laser tube cutting process chain, we would like to give you an idea why to invest in this technology. Therefore, we will make a brief comparison between laser tube and conventional tube processing. Here you can see the organization of a conventional production with technologies like sawing, drilling, milling and deburring. Between each work step, you must store and handle the material. Our true laser tube cutting machines replace all these work steps. You need just one machine. Due to this process simplification, you reduce time and lower your part costs significantly. And laser tube cutting offers you new design possibilities by cutting contours of nearly any shape in a wide variety of materials. For example, cutting out these contours here make it possible to bend the tube and create a frame. Therefore, such a frame can be made of just one tube instead of several smaller pieces. But let's have a closer look on the laser tube cutting process chain and let's look out for solutions to maximize efficiency. Here you can see a schematical visualization of the laser tube cutting process chain that we see mostly at the sides of our customers. First of all, the raw material arrives in the shipping department and gets manually unloaded when handling thin and unstable tubes. It is important to use a crane traverse or something else to support the tubes at two sides to prevent bending. After unloading, the raw material is mostly stored. Next, the material is loaded into the laser tube cutting machine. An operator unloads and stores the produced parts afterwards. Depending on the part requirements you have, they are handled to workstations and threads are inserted into the parts or welding edges are prepared. Afterwards, the parts are usually handled and stored again and enter final assembly and are often welded. As you can see, at the end of the process chain, the assemblies are packed and then shipped. A true laser tube machine makes your tube process chain already more efficient if you make use of the innovative tube designs. Designs like positioning ads reduce the handling effort, can exclude incorrect assembly and simplify the following assembly and welding processes. This means for your visualization that we can speed up the assembly welding step. The next starting point for optimization of the tube process chain you can see right here. The manual loading of tubes into the machine requires one to two employees or a crane depending on the weight of the tube. Due to the open concept of all true laser tube machines, manual loading is easily possible and great for in-between jobs. Though, if you want to produce larger quantities of tubes, there is a solution to speed up and optimize the loading process. And this is the so-called load master tube, which you can see now. It allows you to load tubes automatically out of a bundle. The bundle has the material capacity of several tons. Parallel to production, the loading unit automatically separates the tubes of a bundle, conveys them into the loading position, measures the real material length and transfers the tubes on the machine in minimal time. The next step to boost your efficiency is selecting the right machine. This is our Series 3000. If you're looking for a cost-effective entry into laser tube processing, but at the same time, you need really high part quality, it's just perfect for you. But even if you already use a laser tube cutting machine, it might be just right for you. It's productive enough to serve as a supplementary machine to cover peak workloads, and it comes at a lower investment. The Series 5000, you can see now, is even more dynamic than the Series 3000, making it even more productive and best suited to process a maximum number of finished parts in the standard processing range up to 170 mm outer diameter. But what if you want to produce tubes in XXL, Andreas? Let me show you. 
In case you want to process tubes up to 254 mm in addition at maximum productivity, the 7000 series you see here is the one for you. I also would like to highlight two features which contribute to make your production more efficient. The first feature, smart profile detection, enables the loading of many kinds of special profiles fully automatically. The second feature, Seamline Tube, detects weld seams or markings and aligns the tube to your requirements. The features technology package for tapping and bevel cut even have a direct impact on the laser tube cutting process chain as they integrate work steps into the laser tube cutting machine. Let's have a look at the video right here. We process bevel cuts of up to 45 degrees by swiveling our cutting head in X direction. You can expand your range of parts with bevel separating cuts or prepare your welding seams in round and rectangular tubes by chamfering. In this way, you save one follow-up production step. Using the tapping unit is another efficient way to save a production step. Here you can see how we finish a part with threads completely on our machine. Machining processes such as flow drilling, tapping and twist drilling are possible. To ensure that you can process different thread sizes without any setup effort, we have equipped the tapping unit with an eight-fold tool changer. Especially for heavy tubes, this is a big advantage. The finished parts don't have to be transported to the next machine or don't have to be stored. In this way, you have an optimized inner logistics. When we look at the process chain again, we see that the loading and unloading process still shows some manual work steps. And that is why automation solutions provide even more potential for improvement, which our customers can benefit from. Using our machines often means to deal with high volume, different kind of materials, and in many cases, different tube geometries and dimensions. A lot of our customers deal with the following questions. Do I have access to the required tube via a forklift or a crane? Do I find the right tube for the next job in acceptable time? How do I manage inventory control? And of course, how do I ensure the safety for me and my employees? One possibility to solve these challenges is to use a tube storage system. Here we can see two different versions from our storage partner, Stopa. Let's have a look at the animation. First, we see a tower storage system which consists of two towers. So towers can vary in height and hence in number of cassettes. The storage and retrieval unit manages the cassettes within the towers, brings the cassettes to the cart which transport the cassettes to our laser tube cutting machines. If you have a need for a bigger storage system, then you can decide for a bridge storage system. With a bridge storage system, up to 1,000 cassettes can be stored in a space-saving manner. A tube storage system is a very good solution to optimize the process chain. As you can see here, it reduces the manual effort even further and saves a lot of floor space as well, which is often a problem at the sides of our customers. Andreas, why don't you show our viewers one of our realized customer projects? Sure. We can take a look at a customer solution which was implemented at a customer called Emit. This project was implemented with FAIR, another storage partner. Here you can see one of the big company buildings with the storage system. So let's have a look at the video which shows the solution. Emit is a manufacturing company in the US and builds catalytic converters, commercial buildings, engine control systems, automotive accessories and much more. Here we can see how the tubes are stored in a tower storage system and transported from the tube storage system to the machine in a cassette via a cart. The machine is still running during the loading process to minimize the non-productive times. The cassette is tilting and the tubes are pushed up. Then the tubes are separated and loaded fully automatically into our machine. In this way, Emit can handle even small lot sizes faster than ever before. We have seen nice solutions on the loading side of the machine. So it's time to have a look at the unloading side. As we know, our tube machines are very productive. How do we ensure an efficient unloading? We have some nice features on our machines. Here you can see our True Laser Tube 7000 fiber again and how the machine is unloading finished parts in wire mesh boxes which are placed behind the conveyor tables. 
This is perfect for short parts which can be sorted as well. Longer parts can be unloaded onto conveyor table extensions. The customer demands concerning an individual and automated unloading process are increasing. Therefore, we offer the integration of robots to do jobs like stacking, cleaning of the inner tube, or transferring the finished parts to the next process steps, for example, welding. Here, our Truac Weld 1000 could be the next machine in the process chain. For all these requirements, our machines can be equipped with a digital interface for unloading automation. Challenge us with your individual requirements. With these unloading solutions, we can eliminate one further process step. Our laser tube cutting process chain looks quite lean now and efficient, right? We have seen nice hardware features and automation solutions, but it is also important to speak about the production organization that enables an efficient tube processing chain. The Trump programming software, Programming Tube, which you can see now, allows you to generate programs quickly and with ease due to its high grade of automation and modern user interface. In addition to the programming software, a good nesting of the tubes is essential for economical tube processing. We offer several solutions to realize an efficient nesting. One possibility is to directly nest the parts on the machine. In this case, the actual measured length of the tube is taken into account and the nesting is optimized. The nesting on the machine is particularly good in the case of strongly fluctuating raw material length. If the operator and programmer build a good team and if every millimeter of tube should be used. Another way to nest the parts is to use our tube nest software. Here, the nesting is defined directly by the programmer and cannot be influenced by the machine operator. This solution is great for companies with changing operators in the day and night shift or for companies where the machine operator should only concentrate on keeping the machine running. We were already looking at some machine-based solutions for an efficient production organization. Andreas, you already showed us some great automation solutions earlier. Don't you want to say a few words about how these can be organized? Absolutely. Here, TrueDrops Fab comes into play. Fab is our software to control and manage the entire production that means from the order to the shipping. Let me highlight two modules, Quick Job and Storage, which are very helpful to manage a highly automated production. The first module is TrueDrops Fab's Quick Job, which manage your production order. Let's assume that we talk about a job shop and the order is a customer order. Now you have two possibilities to generate your production order. You can use your existing ERP PPS system or an Excel import. Now QuickJob interacts with our programming system for tubes and tube nest and then the production plan to your machines. The True Laser Tube follows the production plan automatically by producing the finished parts and reports back the order status. You can see the operating status in the production at all times. The so TrueDrops Fab Storage module controls the entire material flow in your production and manages inventories. For this, all machine and storage systems are integrated. Lucas, besides TrueDrops Fab, we also offer digital solutions for those who are seeking data transparency on their shop floor and don't want to invest in a storage system. Why don't you show which solution we can provide for them? With pleasure, Andreas. While you were explaining TrueDrops Fab, I walked over here to the control center of our showroom in Ditzing. The central enabler for data transparency is obviously the availability of machine data. Trump machines not only offer the needed data, they also provide it via the OPCUA standard interface, which is part of the Trump interface central link. Beside OPCUA, central link provides solutions for local firewalls and a secure data output interface with multiple local or web output options. Today, I want to show you one of our products which can help you to gain transparency over your process chain and that product is TrueJobs Monitor. In the production board overview in Monitor, which you can see here, you can evaluate quickly the current status of your machine or machine park. Is your machine running? By clicking on it, we receive more detailed information about it. For example, which program is currently running or why did the machine stop? Beside the production board, TrueJobs Monitor 
also offers the so-called workplace overview. Here you can find automatically generated evaluations, like the historical distribution of the machine status, which you can see here. The machine shown is only used as a demonstration machine. That is why the production time is very low. In addition, other important information, such as the top 10 error messages, are displayed here. All those provided information will help you to gain the needed transparency to identify problems and inefficiencies on your shop floor and to eliminate bottlenecks. This will ultimately make your production more efficient. Beside the shown Trump solutions, it is also possible to connect the True Laser Tube to your local MES. All you need is a production status interface, which allows you to monitor and analyze, for example, the status of a program, is it still running, did it stop, and why? The estimated program end time, the beam on time, and many, many more signals. In today's presentation, we've shown you how beneficial getting started with laser tube cutting can be in comparison to your conventional tube process chain. We've also shown you solutions to optimize your processes in the field of laser tube cutting. Thanks for your attention and think tube.